Alrighty, here we go. Have a word with Garrus. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Uh, yet more talk about the Collectors. We hear about him, but we never see him. Doesn't work for me somehow. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them soon. Based on what I've seen from the Alliance military, so do I. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a Spectre after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the Lord. Garrus' dialogue right there actually changes depending on if you actually influenced his views in the first Mass Effect. If you turned in Paragon, he talks about going back to the Citadel and trying to help out, but that didn't work. All this is kind of meaningless since he ends up in the exact same spot regardless, but still, it's a nice subtle touch. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. And that's actually the one and only conversation you're really going to get with Garrus until his loyalty quest comes up. Which isn't going to be until quite a little bit later. Limited interaction to say the least. I guess they figure most of the important stuff was covered in the first game. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Wait a minute, hold on. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. That's weird. I asked her the same question earlier and got the actual mission to go get her brandy. I wonder why she just repeated that dialogue. It's kind of strange. I have to look into that. It might have been some kind of a glitch, or maybe I loaded the wrong save or something. Huh. Weird.
Now then, I've actually got two more recruitment missions to do. So, Hadley, how are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. Anyone who talks about how much ass-kicking they're going to do generally doesn't live very long. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back! That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that hole <laughs> up his Charming. ass. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh! 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 Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. It's always nice to check in on him. He usually has something funny to say. All right. As you can see, I've got two more recruits, the Warlord and the Convict. Go ahead and try to get to the Warlord. No messages for you, Commander. Warlord is actually a Krogan. Alright. I do have my preferred squad members, but for the sake of showing what each teammate can do, I'm gonna mix it up to Garrus and... I still like Zaid, I don't care. A lot of people don't like him. Truth, he had to grow on me, but I think he's kind of cool. his favorite sniper rifle. Dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Loudspeakers. Someone likes the sound of their voice. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Switch up! I'm actually surprised Garrus doesn't start using the sniper rifle by default. He actually starts out using the assault rifle and you have to actually command him to switch weapons. There's no way I could have shot him from all the way over here. Shit. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't Berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs. Or Alliance. I'm not... I'm not telling you anything. You're not in the best bargaining position. I'm looking for a Krogan named Okir. Who? <laughs> you already know more than I do. I just kill Krogan. The old one in the lab dumps crazy ones down here all the time. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. 
so we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Grogan pack. Not a word. Let it go. That is good advice. Any smart man would take it. You are not a smart man. Oh, fuck it. Patrol, this is Outpost 4. We So our warlord is breeding Krogan in Jador's lab. What is it with everybody in breeding Krogan? I mean, Saren did that in Mass Effect 1. Is that all they can come up with here? Kier better be able to explain this. and dropped him with a concussive blast? I don't think that counts as a sniper shot, dude. You're cheating. Impressive. Oh, come on, Garrus. You gotta toot your own horn when you get a headshot. I've heard somebody saying impressive when somebody else does something, but... Get out of my way, Saeed. That's my cover. That stunt you pulled back on your loyalty quest, I'll be using I should be using you as a meat shield here. Funny that Krogan actually says that after staring at Shepard's breasts. You are not like the others. <laughs> I don't know why, but that sound just feels kind of awkward to me and funny. You must know something about all this if you survive this long. Survive? Yes, I must survive, but not here. Not against these fleshy shapes. I must survive the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before leaving Glass Mother. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Okay, Tank Red Krogan. Got it. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Glad he's friendly. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Ready? You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me, if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. 
I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Yeah, well, you have fun. Waiting. Or whatever. But anyway, this is about as far as I go. I'll catch you guys in the next part. See ya.